Hello everyone and welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. Students, this is our instructor Janice Shah. In today's lecture, we are going to learn about the text to speech in Android, where we are going to write something in our text box or I can say that it text box and the Android phone system will say or speak up something from that. So, Welcome to the video lecture series students. Let's begin to understand about the text to speech in Android. So students, the text to speech in Android, it allows you to convert your text into voice. In the current scenario, there are so many applications are there. They can read for you. If you are writing something, if you are uploading the whole PDF or I can say the word file inside it and you can listen it uh, calmly. So it can be very much easy for you to read it or I can say to understand the book. Same like that, the text to speech concept is uh, came out from that concept. So not only you can convert it, but also you can speak the text in variety different language. So students, the Android provides the text to speech class for this particular purpose. In order to use this class, you need to instantiate an object of this class and also specify the init listener its syntax is given below. See, the particular first you need to uh, make the object of the text to speech class. So here it is. The TTS is the object of the text to speech class. Like text to speech TTS is equal to new text to speech get application context comma new text to speech dot on init listener. So on init listener is a listener uh, driven by the particular text to speech class. So once the text to speech initiated it first check whether it is any error or not. If it's not, then the set the local is UK. So local is nothing but it's a bad default language that you want to speak up from your smartphone device. So by default, it, it can be the UK. So local is used to set the language. So set language is a method and local.uk that is a parameter that shows the language uh, name. So here are some various methods of the text to speech class students. The number one is add speech. It has two different parameters like string text and string file name. This method is add a mapping between string of text and the sound file. Next, a get language that is used to return the local instance describing the in which language currently going on. Is speaking, is method is used whether your smartphone device is currently speaking or not. Now, set pitch, set pitch is used to uh, set the pitch of the text to speech engine. Set speech rate set speech rate method the set the speech rate and shut down this method releases the resources used by the text to speech engine and stop it will stop the particular speaking process fine so here i am going to uh, show you the very simple example or you can say the very basic example of the text to speech class so students here we need to write a code for an app that has one edit text so this is my edit text box this is a text view that contains a text to speech as just a header, nothing else. And inside this particular edit box, we need to write something. So whatever we write and when you click on a text to speech button, the device will speak up the particular uh, sentences that we have written inside the edit text. Now, let me show you that how we can do that. So students, this is my main activity dot Java file. I have already shown that what the design I have done in my activity underscore main.xml part. I will explain during the coding part as well. Now, see this is my main activity to Java file where I am going to create the object of edit text button and the text to speech class. So inside the on create method, first we need to map the objects of the Java and XML that I did it. See the text edit and TTS button. Now, after that, you need to create initiate it the text to speech object and call the on text to speech listener. So on it listener method is created and overriding on it method. So DTS is equal to new text to speech get application context comma new text to speech dot, dot on it listener. Then we need to override the method which is known as on initialization. Now integer status. If the status that means no error is occurred, then the language is by default is UK. Now, when the user click on the pause button, so on pause method is called. So whenever you come out from the app, 
so on pause is nothing but it is all about the activity on pause method right so students when you just uh, go out from the app if it, it checks whether dts is not equal to null okay then it stops and shut down so your speaking process will shut down whenever you come out from the app so this is all about the text for speech uh, basic code now let me show you the actual programming code start see students uh, this is nothing but it's a text to speech code where you do not need to write anything inside the android manifest.xml file same as that inside the main activity.java file and this is activity underscore main.xml file you do as you also do not need to write anything inside the dependency your dependency are same as per the programs so now let's move towards the activity underscore main.xml file here I have created a relative layout inside it I am going to take a text view that the layout width and height is the wrap content wrap content the center horizontal layout is true text size is 20 dp layout margin is 20 dp and id is given as title text view now on the edit text I have the edit text title text view then the text color is already given and the text color heat is already given so now this uh, shows the text color and this is the text color heat now the button so i take a button which id is uh, here it is see text to speech button fine so i have given everything now it's time to show you the main activity.java file code so student this is my main activity.java file where edit text button and tts object is created even though i have already imported my file see this is android.speech.tts.text to speech class now see here the protected void on create method the text edit contains see r dot id dot text edit tts button is find view by id r dot id dot text to speech and this is how we can create a text to speech so this is the new text to speech get application context comma on init listener overriding the method that is known as on init and text to speech dot error then set the language as local dot uk if it is not error then it will set now this is a set on click listener button so whenever the tts button will occur we just need to call a method which is known as speak so this is the speak method see students this is a method through which you can uh, speak uh, the speaking processes occur so first you need to create a string speak for that we need to get the string from the text edit dot get text dot to string and make a toast it i am just uh, toast it them nothing else so this is the tts dot speak method is called you need to pass the to speak string tts dot queen dot flush and parameter is null so this is a method through which you can make a speaking process currently going on if you want to change any language then you can change from here see this is uk you can see this is a uh, china chinese and uh, any traditional language this is us and uk okay so this language this is provided by the android so you can also change from uk to us and may uh, do as per your requirement this is a you need to override the protected method on pause method is there where if the tts object is not null then we need to show stop and shut down the tts object okay now now students let me the run the application and show you the output first fine so let me just write something over here like uh, hello this is a text to speech demo in android where the local is us now just click on the text to speech button okay hello this is a text to speech demo in android where the local is us once again, if you want to listen, see. Hello, this is a text to speech demo in Android where the locale is US. If you want to change the language, you can also change. Okay, see. Instead of US, you can also change like this. Canada. And let me just click on this. Terminate the app. 
once again this is a another demo with local canada fine this is another demo with local canada fine so student this is how you can uh, write something and on a click button this is another you demo can with get local the text to speech demo in android So students, this is all about the text-to-speech in Android. If you have any doubt in this lecture, then please feel free to ask me. Thank you so much.